Sup and good day, gamers. A formal bust here with Aura FPV Skydive. A first impression of it at the very least. Uh, but first, as always, we have our sponsor, H2O. Drink it up or die. Mm. That is some wet and hydrating water. Now, let's get into this. What is this game? This uh, game is uh, on Steam as Aura. That is O-R-Q-A. I'm choosing to leave the Q silent, as you should, unless there's a U behind it. But it is Aura FPV dot Skydive. Uh, this is released on Steam back in May of 2021, developed and published by Aura Incorporated. Uh, very simple description on Steam. Aura FPV Skydive is a drone racing and freestyle simulator. It is uh, very nicely a free-to-play game, and its tags on Steam are free-to-play, simulation, racing, and adventure. So, main menu here, I do not have a controller connected, but apparently this game will allow you to use any sort of controller whatsoever. So we'll see what it does with keyboard and mouse. I have a controller if I need to. So, straight up we have a fly option, choose map option. Oh, warning. Oops, looks like you don't have a joystick connected. Not to worry. Okay. You can still use uh, fly using W, okay, W, uh, S, A, D, and I, J, K, L buttons on your keyboard. So we'll remember that. I, J, K, L. All right. Okay, so, dual stick. So, or a racing, race polygon, construction arena, Red Valley, abandoned factory. Some good four maps right there. We'll get into later. Settings, though. Uh, let's go back to general. So, uh, language, English, Spanish, Italian, French, German. Okay. A little bit of, uh, of uh, nice and... Uh, Little bit, couple, a couple of uh, choices there. Uh, joystick HUD, enable or disable. I'm going to leave that enabled just to see what it looks like, even though it becomes it is uh, disabled. To start, post-processing, of course, on. Drone options, flight mode, you have angle, acro, horizon, angle. No idea what those are. Uh, maybe we'll futz around and find out uh, if we get into playing this a little bit. Field of view, nice to see from 60 to 120, and we're just going to crank that all the way to max uh, in, you know, honor. Uh, camera angle, uh, I'm going to leave it at 30, but you can go from 0 to 90. Nice to see. Fish eye, we're going to leave it at 0. I think that can cause, uh, for some people, some annoyance and uh, headaches, so I'm going to leave that off. Resolution, all the way to max. We got uh, ultra textures, ultra anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering enabled, vertical sync enabled, shadows enable all, shadow quality. Let's bump that up to ultra. Max load value, that's fine. Motion blur disabled, yes, very good. Very good game for having this disabled from the start. And audio, we just have music, UI, UX, and drone motors audio. So, interesting. I guess, you know, your simulated drone motors. And then rates. I'm sure if you fly drones at all, any of this will make sense to you. I'm going to leave it standard, completely standard, and hopefully I'll be fine with that. Also, don't know what this curve or anything is, but... I, from my from my research into this game, it is very much a uh, if 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 you fly drones, this is a, like a test bed for you to fly drones and figure stuff out. Joystick calibration. Okay, so it's disabled since no input source is detected. Very good. Once you connect a valid joystick or radio controller, you will be able to start uh, calibration. Radio controller. Interesting. I guess if you had your own. You could just go ahead and uh, use your same controller that you use for actually flying a real drone. Let's just jump into fly, see what it does. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. WASD. So, oh. Okay. All right. All right. This is this is wonky. Oh no. Okay, so I got throttle. Oh no, oh, no. Well, thankfully it doesn't look like I. Uh... All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh no. Okay. So, looks like we can turn, and we have our motor. Is so WASD is. Oh gosh. Oh no, I'm upside down. Well, it looks like the game compensates for that pretty well. It doesn't look amazing, but for a what I believe is a first-time uh, game of someone and a drone simulator, this is very, very good, actually, quite looking. 
Oh no. Do we have a ceiling height? Okay. Oh. Okay, I guess if you go high enough up, you uh, reset. Be nice if I could set the throttle instead of just going back and forth. Nice to see at the top the FPS and everything. I mean, yeah, it's nice. All right. I obviously am no drone pilot whatsoever. It's to my knowledge. Yeah. To my knowledge, you gotta you gotta fly this these things very carefully. So I can see very much for new drone flyers if you want to get into the you know if you want to get into the business of it I guess or the you know hobbyism of it. Oh my gosh. So this I can move forward or up, and if I tilt back I guess. All right. Now let's see. Okay, in game so settings. Let's mess with the settings. Video. No, it's drone. Yes. Acro. Let's see what Acro does. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so I can fully flip. Okay. Oh, man, that is... <laughs> so, Acro keeps you with the drone, because, I mean, realistically... Oh, gosh. Realistically, your drone can fly complete 360, so... Oh, man. All right, this camera angle is making it worse for me. Let's go back to, let's see, Acro. Last one was Horizon. Let's see what that one does. Oh. Oh. Okay, Horizon. So Horizon just seems like it flipped me back and forth from horizon to horizon. Guess if you want to do some barrel rolls or whatever. Okay. I think I'm going to stick with Acro then. And yes, if you're wondering, oh, this is not a lot of gameplay. This is a lot of, you know, figuring out how to control it. That's, I mean, it's a simulator, y'all. It's a simulator. That's kind of what you do with it. You mess around with it. See what you can do in the game. Although I do, let's go back to main menu. No offense against that map. That seems like a great map, but dear God. Um, yeah, let's go to this one. Um, official race map. Okay. Okay, so in each map, you have different setups. Okay, construction area. Okay, freestyle, different setups. Red Valley's where I was. I got freestyle, all different, a couple different ones. Abandoned factory. Let's just go to abandoned factory and freestyle. I think this is the longest I've waited for this to load, so there we go. Oh boy. That's some that's some ground there. Okay. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm getting the hang of it. Very slowly, but still getting the hang of it. Okay. I do love the flip reset because oh my gosh. I would definitely need that. I mean as you can tell. Oh, no. All right. I am probably doing this game a disservice, so I'm going to be a quick cut here, and I'm going to plug in a controller and see how the game goes with that. We are back, gamers. Let's see. Okay. All right. So, oh, gosh. No fun. Okay. So, I put in my joist. I put in a, just a 360 a Xbox uh, controller, USB, of course, and it seems... This game is definitely, oh boy, this game is definitely made for a game, uh, oh, okay, so, you, yep, that's what I thought, so it is possible to keep your throttle, okay, yeah, with a gamepad I can very much more easily control my throttle, now, oh gosh, now what you see here is, uh, when you're using a gamepad apparently there is a, uh, there is a, and you can set it to whatever, uh, you can set your controller to reset. Okay. 
All right. All right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this is definitely if you're going if you're going to learn how to fly a drone. Oh gosh. This is how you want to do it. And the the game actually has a very good um so, Oh. Did I clip through there? Or did I I guess I fell through the roof. Oh, yep. Okay. So very much it seems like there is this is this is really how you want to hone your flying skills as a drone pilot. Uh you got building interiors if I can show them to you. Let me actually Yeah, reset. So on your control you can just set up to reset um a button on your gamepad or whatever to reset it. Let's do hmm, yeah, let's bring down the field of view. Oh. Oh, this is okay, so this is very nice to see in a simulator. If you want everything set up right and everything, allowing you to literally watch as you change the settings from the menu. This is very nice. Now, it would have been nice if this were available in the main menu, but I can understand why it wasn't. So, camera angle. Okay. Uh, okay. So, all right. Let me try zero, because that's flat on with the rotor blades. And then fisheye. What does that do? Oh. Yeah, I guess if you have a, I guess if, I guess, okay, I guess if you actually are simulating and prepping to actually fly for real, you kind of want this to be on, uh, especially if you're flying via camera on the drone. I'm going to leave that off for me. Yes, let's leave all that. Uh, video, no. Rates, I still have no idea what they, these do, but I'm going to, I'm going to leave them, this, I'm going to leave them alone. I have no idea what to do with any of these, so we're going to leave these alone. This is very much for a, uh, an aficionado of drone flying. Okay, so already I'm liking the angle better. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right, now I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm not. All right. Okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, because when you're... Oh! When you're futzing with a drone, you're very much only in two dimensions uh, with your drone controls. Because you can always... You got to tilt forward to go... You got to tilt down to go forward, of course. And then you got to tilt back if you want to go back. Oh! Okay, so... One annoying thing, I guess, is if you run into the out if, into the bounds of the you know map you're on, you will go right back to the restart. Which for some reason seems to take it's it seems quicker to reload when you hit the walls than it does. Oh nope. Okay, flip. Okay, flip me. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Okay, so the game does kind of cheat a little because I can rotate here without having my. Uh, Without having to be off the ground, I can just rotate. That's nice. All right. It's a nice handicap for, uh, you know, people like me who got problems with that. And for some reason, the game audio... Oh, no. Okay, there, there, there they are. For some reason, the game audio cut out for a second, but that's probably my fault. All right. Okay, so we got... Okay, yeah. So you got plenty of... It's not just obstacles. You got plenty of stuff you can... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What have I done? I Okay. Yeah. Also, another good thing to see in a test bed of a game like this is... Yeah. Th 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 they know you're going to mess up. And that there's going to be places you're going to get the drone to that they never thought you would. So, nice to see. And I know people... I just want to go under the bridge. Let me go under the bridge. Let me go under the bridge! Yeah. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck in the lattice of the ladder. All right. Oh, what am I? Flip me. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm a very bad drone pilot, y'all. Very bad. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. I get it, wall. Okay. I mean, you can see. I mean, y'all, it's a free-to-play game. I'm having a ton of fun with this already, but oh, my gosh. Uh. I can see, I can see very much how if you want to get into drone flying, this, this, this should be your entry point. Okay, and now I'm stuck under the rail car. Great. All right, yeah, free to play. This is a great game. Uh, I like it. Uh, I'll probably mess around with it some. Uh, check out all the maps and everything at some point. But oh man, this is a nice little, uh, you know, 
This is a drone simulator. That's all it... Oh, gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see if I can get my way out of a box. <laughs> okay. Oh, nope. All right. Okay. Definitely be very, very gentle with the... Oh, no. I always want to go back when I need to go forward. <laughs> that would not work with a real drone. With a real drone, I would have destroyed that drone a few times over. Well, really, this entire video I'd be destroying this drone. No, this is... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I can see how, with fisheye, this would be a little headache-inducing, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, mo monetarily-wise, I would have wasted thousands of dollars with a real drone so far. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we... What are we doing? Oh, no. I'm stuck in the window. Okay. Flip me? Alright. Alright, there we go. Oh. Nope. Flip. Oh. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, one more reset, and I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna try my best to go, nope. Oh, you even got your shadow. Oh, boy. Alright, reset. I swear, I swear, we're gonna go through that tunnel. Oh, no. Gonna go through that tunnel. It would be nice, and I guess you sort of do have a reticule uh, when your gamepad is visible at the bottom there, as a sort of center line. There we go. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. We're out of control. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Because we see a lot of flight simulators, you know? And we don't see, at least I haven't seen a lot of, uh, you know, drone flight simulators. Oh! And this is why it's a free-to-play uh, sim game. Because sometimes you'll just phase right through the floor. Let's see if I can get back out of the floor. Hey! Okay. So, good to see that this game, you know, doesn't take itself entirely too seriously. You can get it for free on Steam right now. Um, I don't believe the creator has any, you know, plan of eventually making it for pay. Oh, oh, all right. But no, yeah, you can have, you can, tons of fun with this game. Tons of fun with this game. Little free to play game. Oh. <laughs> Little free to play game, especially if you're interested in drones and that sort of thing. And or you just want, you know, spend some time and you got a game controller. I will having played with the gamepad, I will suggest this this game is one of the games you need a controller for. Okay. So some of the trees you just face through. Um I guess I could check that. Yeah, let's see. Can I just Okay. So <laughs> Oh. oh, there's a road and everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Got the little motor. Man, this is this is a great little game, y'all. I love it. Um, I mean, it's worth the money. It is definitely worth the money. Um, but yeah, no, for sure. If you're interested in drones or. Just any flight sims, because this is a very different flight sim from any other flight sim I've ever played. I mean, most flight sims are, you know, plane-based. Some of them, there are some helicopter-based ones. Oh, land it right on top almost. But yeah, this is very, very nice. Okay. I mean, you know, recommended buy from me for the whole, you know, expensive price of free 90 free. Oh, no, oh! Okay. Okay, almost made it through the bridge that time. Okay. Oh, nope. 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 Okay. Ugh. Oh, nope. Oh man. Yeah, I can I can spend hours with this. This is this is definitely definitely an intriguing little game. I'm just going to skip skip skip. I I made it. 
I made it. I think I think we can say I made it through the tunnel. Um. Okay. No. All right. All right. Let's be honest. All right. All right. I I just gotta get. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So, if you don't know how to fly a drone, definitely getting stuck in the buildings is not a pro gamer move. I made it through the tunnel. I made it through the tunnel. We all saw that. I made it through the tunnel. Pro gamer here. Pro gamer. Pro gamer. Pro gamer. Made it through the tunnel. No one can say I didn't. I am the most pro drone flying gamer out there. Very much check this game out if you're interested. And, uh, yeah. I've been a formal bust. I'm going to leave it right here. While I have some sort of control over my flight currently. Uh, yeah. Feel free to do this stuff. As always, I have been a formal bust. As always, take care of yourselves, gamers, and drink some H2O.